I'm Eric Moberly, a fish biologist with Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. We're currently here at Camp Polk Preserve. Uh, this land is owned by the Land Trust and it's the site of one of our uh, upper Deschutes Basin acclimation sites. This is one of four acclimation sites we have in the upper Deschutes Basin. We have one here at Camp Polk on White Juice Creek. We have a similar site at Wizard Falls Hatchery uh, located on the Metolius River. And we have two sites in the Crooked River Basin, one at Opal Springs Hydroelectric Facility and uh, another site on Ochico Creek, a tributary to the Crooked River. 17.7, These acclimation sites are being used for sp spring Chinook salmon and summer steelhead. And what we do is we bring fish in from the hatcheries and we, we keep them here on site for two to three weeks and let them acclimate to the specific river basin that they're in. And then we release them from the site and they travel down uh, the stream to, to Lake Billy Chinook where they're collected at the selective water withdrawal there at the head of uh, Round Butte Dam. So once they get to the SWW, there's a collection facility there and, and PG has staff there uh, seven days a week and they, they uh, go through these fish and they sort them. Uh, you know, these fish have a left maxillary mark, which tells us they were, they were born in a hatchery and they're, they're hatchery fish. And, and we also have fish that are naturally reproduced from our adult fish coming back that they naturally reproduce in the basin. And when they get collected at the SWW, they get a right max clip that lets us know that they were naturally reproduced. So these fish get collected and sorted uh, there at the SWW and then they get transported down below the projects and put into a stress relief pond and they sit there for about 12 hours before they're released in the evenings and so it's a volitional release they start um, re they start leaving the stress stress relief pond around sundown and they have a chance all through the night to to leave and then in the morning the the staff go there and then they kick the rest of them out and the process starts all over again they go back up to the SWW they work up all the fish that came in uh, you know overnight and throughout the day and, and it's a process that happens seven days a week one of our evaluations uh, here in the upper basin is is we pit tag uh, about 400 fish from each release and that allows us to track those fish uh, through the basin. Uh, they, we have pit tag readers at the SWW and we have pit tag readers there at Bonneville. So it allows, allows us to track a certain proportion of these fish uh, through the Deschutes Basin and then the Columbia Basin to see how fast they're, they're migrating through the system. It gives us a lot of information on just the migration timing of these fish. So historically the Upper Deschutes Basin had uh, a population of spring chinook salmon and, and summer steelhead and and when the dams were being built in the in the 50s uh, you know there was some measures um, that that they did to try to to maintain that population you know they built a two and a half mile fish ladder down there at the the project which eventually didn't work and and some other things and and after a while there was just no more no more fish runs of, of spring chinook or summer steelhead and so uh, part of pg and the C confederate tribes of warm springs license uh, was to mitigate for those impacts of that dam and so um, we we negotiated and, and came up with a plan to to reintroduce salmon and steelhead into the upper basin and it, it's a it's been going on for a little over 10 years and uh you know, it's, it's, it's been somewhat successful. There's been a lot of changes in the last 10 years as we, as we do more research and monitoring and try to, try to find uh, better ways to, to make this work. And we're still, we're still changing some things and, and, you know, looking at the data and looking at our research and, and hopefully one day, you know, the goal is to have a sustainable and a harvestable population of, of spring chinook and, and summer steelhead in the, in the upper basin, but we're still working towards that.